It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Chiefs and the Silver and Black, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. Well, even with all the buildings along the Las Vegas Strip and all the action here, this is one of the city's biggest attractions. Allegiant Stadium opened back in 2020. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical. Who wins up front? Who runs the ball the best and controls the clock? They will come out the victor. Bitter rivals going back to their AFL days in the 1960s. The Chiefs and Raiders are underway. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's the Chiefs' offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly... You can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Mahomes going to throw. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That one goes for eight yards. Third and four, he did just enough, and I mean just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described, and he was able to do just that. On play action, it's Mahomes. He finds Watson. It's caught. And he's brought down. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 44-yard line. In motion, the tight end. And complete once again to Watson. That'll go for a gain of seven at its second down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Second down and three. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. It finds his receiver, Watson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 21. 15 yards there on the catch and run. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. And again, it's Mahomes. And that is... Completion. 
Gibson breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. From the 21, it's second and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And the catch made by Hopkins. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Kareem Hunt, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in Vegas. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by Gardner Minshew, six-round selection in 2019 out of Washington State. And how about this young man? Took the NFL world by storm as a six-round rookie, signature mullet, mustache, but 21 touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great personality, and everyone gravitates towards this guy. Teammates love to win with a quarterback who leads them like that, and fans love to root for a guy who seems just like them. Now Minshew, and down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second down and six. First carry now for Alexander Madison. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Looking to throw it, Minshew. There's a short throw taken in by Bryant. A gain of eight there on the play. And third and eight now. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. Here's Madison. He'll get it to the 40. Broke a tackle there to get some extra yardage. 
It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Here's Minshew. Open man down the field, it's Bowers. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Here's a give to Madison running right. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Another carry now for Madison. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. A tough time to take the sack. Now it's fourth and goal, and that's a loss of six. Boy, this has been a nice first drive for them, but right there, Charles, a sack on third and goal, that's tough. Yeah, and if you're the head coach and the offensive play caller, if you had any thoughts about going for it on fourth down, it's a much more difficult decision now. Likely kick the field goal. But if you're going to go for it, you better have the perfect play call on your sheet. The kick by Carlson is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Here's Mahomes to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From the 34-yard line, here's second and three. Mahomes now to throw. It's complete to Hopkins. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Was that a receiver? 
<laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. So a penalty that can frustrate a coach so much, a mental error, and it'll back him up five yards. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Now here's Mahomes. That is caught. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 45-yard line. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. And they just did not get the snap away in time. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. They get the penalty yardage back plus a yard. Six-yard gain, and it's second and nine. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Second and nine from the 44. Now a toss running left. Hunt, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. In motion goes the tight end. After one, 7 3 the score on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll get this into the hands of the rookie from Texas. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 31-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Throwing now is Mahomes. And Watson has it right side. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Justin Watson, 31 yards. And the Chiefs had six to their lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, 
they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Escapes the defender. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They trail now 14-3, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Minshew sets to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Marshall. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now a second and two. They'll run with Madison. Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down, as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 39. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. On third down, they run with Madison. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's gonna be a foot or so short. 
They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This would be a critical call. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And this one is no good. He missed it. And they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through. And that one winds up no good. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. He finds Hopkins complete. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. A toss play to Hunt. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. The Chiefs on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and 10. A carry here for Hunt. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. Play clock all the way to zero. Didn't get the snap off. Five-yard penalty. And you see the head coach writing that note on his play sheet right now. He's going to be addressing that with his staff. A sense of urgency. Get to the line of scrimmage. Snap the ball. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. First down, they'll run with Hunt. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Kareem Hunt with his second touchdown here in this first half. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. 
an absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And Kareem Hunt, the one to finish it off, as he did so with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. 45 yards rushing for him now to this point. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second down and four. Gonna run with Madison again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? They'll come up facing third and five. Out of the gun is Minshew. Shakes off the sack. Good work by Minshew there to pick up the first. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. There's a short throw taken in by Bryant. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Options galore here. Second and a few inches. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Seven yards there and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Back to the ground on first down. Here's Madison. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Minshew. And his throw is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Off play action, it's Minshew. He's going to let this one go deep. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
Joshua Williams there to knock that pass away. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. There's the versatile back, Kareem Hunt, getting set with the rest of this offense for the next drive. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Mahomes going to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Gets this into the hands of Bray, the tight end. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second down and a yard. They'll look to throw again. Throw left side complete. That's Hunt. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Mahomes to throw once more. Looking middle, and that's complete. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So 
So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. Butker's kick here is good. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24-3. to three. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defense has always talked about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. So from the 26-yard line, here's the second and eight. They'll go play action here with Minshew. There's a short throw taken in by Bryant. Call it a gain of six on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. It's a gain of just a couple there, but it's enough to get him the first. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Here's Madison running on first down. Takes it to about the 37. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. Here's Madison running left. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Uh, still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. On any running play this called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, 
you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Mahomes now to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Mahomes to throw. He finds his receiver, Watson. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Third and two. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. The Raiders offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, and now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. There's a short throw taken in by Bryant, and he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? 
Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. A gain of three, second down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. So it's still first and goal, but now they get to try from a bit closer. Madison is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. This is a tough situation offensively because down three scores, the field goal kicker is not even going to come into play here. As an offensive play caller, though, you know you have to take chances. This is a time to get creative. Now Minshew. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, you only get a one-yard buffer there from the line of scrimmage, and he got downfield a little too far, and the flag came out. Here's Minshew. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Bowers. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Carlson able to put this one through, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing... Any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. After the made field goal, Carl Sinell sets up to kick this away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Now here's Mahomes. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room.
Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And they're not going to get this one off in time. It'll be a delay. Still third down. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Throwing now is Mahomes. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And that will be incomplete. There defensively to knock it away was the safety, Justin Reed. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's A.J. Cole now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field they'll come out throwing here to start the drive to the right side it's Kelsey and he's going to get this down near the 30 yard line that goes for a Chiefs first down 14 yards and while we may be looking at the scoreboard this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down even with a three score lead here in the third quarter I think they keep taking their shots they've seen blown leads happen throughout this league they don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So first and 10 now from the 30. <laughs> 
Play clock hit zero. Don't know what went wrong there, Charles, but it's going to cost them five yards. Has to be some organization from the sideline. Sometimes when you're trying to decide on what play to send in, the play caller has to move a little bit faster. Working from the gun, Mahomes. No, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Divine Diablo. And the Raiders are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Minshew sets to throw. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and ten. On the handoff, it's Madison. to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And even 100 yards here for Madison. He's got a first down. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Now a second and ten. Now a give to Madison. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. They'll set up a throw. There's a short throw taken in by Bryant. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him but the tight end drag route definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down so now first and 10 in chiefs territory at the 41 back to throw that would tip to it. it's incomplete a good hands there defensively at second down at this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Second and ten. They'll set up to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw again. For Marshall, that's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. And Brandon, from our time in college football, 
where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now second and nine. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Turner. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Again, Minshew looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. A nice pickup of 17 yards. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches... You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll be third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun is Minshew. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Karloftis does a nice job getting him down. That's something the former first-round pick did a lot of in his sophomore campaign when he recorded 10 and a half sacks on the season. Daniel Carlson set for the Raider field goal. That's just 32 yards officially from the right hash. The kick by Carlson is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's caught right side by Worthy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. 
And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. From just shy of midfield, here's second and three. Mahomes going to throw. Got a man over the middle, Worthy. That'll put him close to 100 yards receiving. He's at 98, and he's got a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. In motion left goes a tight end. Not enough sense of urgency there. Play clock hits zero, five-yard penalty. Yeah, I like your point there. Not enough sense of urgency. People walking up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to get up there and get set and be ready to go. Now Mahomes. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Ja'Korian Bennett has it. And the Raiders are right back in this football game. That is the play they needed in a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. They did what they had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter to that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Now this offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Mahomes gives to Hunt. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Good push from the offensive line, and they've done well so far to build this lead. Now they've got to get things to the finish line. And that's a solid pickup there to begin the drive. From the 28, it's second and five. 
From the gun, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he takes it down to the 20-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Well, that's certainly familiar. Kelsey making the catch and picking up a first down. And he continues to produce at a high level here in his 12th year in the NFL. He's topped 90 catches in each of the last six seasons. And barring something dramatic happening, there's a good chance he'll make it seven straight when it's all said and done. And the Chiefs are going to have what looks to be a first and goal as he'll take this down to the 10-yard line. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down, but don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The home team's offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. They'll look to throw now on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. 
to throw again on second down. Minshew caught by Turner. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. It'll be Minshew again. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet, as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. This is caught. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Oh, nice job there, putting the ball right in the doorstep of the goal line. Couldn't quite get in to pay dirt, but he got awfully close. Let's see if they can cash it in over the next couple of plays. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Now this likely a must-have third and goal. Now Minshew. I ah, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up, and that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football. And I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural. Yeah, but yeah, I, but, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like the best player of all yeah. of that. And I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You, I thought I was the only child. You That's get a game ball child. and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.